Hi, my name is Sandeep Bhanot and I'm here to give you a quick overview of the Mobile Design Templates. The Mobile Design Templates is a set of 22 open source HTML5 and CSS3 templates that developers can use to quickly build web and hybrid apps on the Salesforce platform. The problem that these templates are trying to address is the fact that UI and UX is obviously critically important for any mobile app, be it an enterprise focused app or a consumer focused app. However, most developers, myself included, aren't the best designers, and many IT departments and enterprises don't have the luxury of having dedicated mobile designers to help with the UI and UX for their mobile app. The mobile design templates address this issue by giving developers a great starting point for building their web and hybrid app. These templates are completely based on HTML5 and CSS3 and they're already mobile optimized. So developers can quickly take them and customize them to their specific use case and needs and build great looking enterprise web and hybrid mobile apps on the Salesforce platform. So let's dive right in and see how these templates work. The way to get to these templates is via our uh, mobile portal www.developerforce.com slash mobile. From this page, you can quickly drill down into the Mobile Design Templates homepage. Now, in addition to listing all the 22 templates that we provide on this page, this is also a great learning tool for developers. As you see, as, you, as I scroll down this page, what, what happens is each template is broken down into its, constituents, into, it, into its constituent HTML5 and CSS components. So you can see here, for example, the header component is comprised of the following markup, and you can see the output here on the right in the phone. So all you have to do is just keep scrolling down the page, and each template will be broken down in this, in this manner, and it really makes it easy for a developer to quickly understand and grok how a, a particular template works and what, what are all the different components of a given template. Now the different uh, the templates themselves are organized into these higher level uh, categories. List view templates, for example, provide different ways of uh, of viewing a list of Salesforce data, be a standard or custom object. So here, for example, you're looking at the list view template that that, that can be used to show any uh, any data that has pictures associated with it in Salesforce, like contacts. There's also a tab list view that you can use, for example, if you want to show. Uh, data that's organized by two or more tabs. For example, you can use this to show open or closed cases. Now another quick note on the templates is for illustrative purposes, these templates use a given standard or custom object. So for example, you can see here I'm sh uh, this template uses contacts as an example. However, each template is completely use case agnostic and you can use any template and combine it with any standard or custom object on the back end and pretty much use it in any mobile use case. There are also a couple of different other list views to choose from. The timeline list view, for example, shows a, sort of a nice time progression that you can use to display, say, milestones uh, in a project or the progression of the opportunity, uh, um, for opportunity stage history over time. Detail view templates provide you nice visually and, uh, and mobile optimized views of looking at a standard or custom object. And there are a couple of different views that you can choose from depending on your specific use case and requirements. Data input templates provide you HTML5 form elements to capture user input from a phone. So for example, text input or capture a, a date control or even a simple uh, checkbox, yes, no checkbox. All of it completely mobile optimized and all using standard HTML5 form elements. We also have a survey data input template that you can use to capture survey, survey responses from a phone. Map view templates that you can use to uh, implement the classic find nearby functionality, whereby you can uh, display a, a list of uh, nearby records on the on the top half of the page, and the user selects any record, and it shows the uh, the, lo the specific location on the bottom half of the page. Calendar view templates that provide a nice mobile optimized uh, view of a Salesforce user's calendar. So for example, a week view of the events and tasks, as well as a to-do uh, template that shows the pending tasks in Salesforce for a given user. You can quickly uh, you know, mark that checkbox and mark that task as complete. Reports and dashboard templates uh, use the D3 charting library to uh, show a mobile optimized view of a report or dashboard in Salesforce. So you can use the gauge or the donut or the bar chart or the line chart template 
combine that with the analytics API on the back end and display really nice mobile optimized views of reporting data in Salesforce. And finally some miscellaneous templates that you can use like settings and splash screen and about screen in just about any mobile app. Next let's look at the markup associated with these templates. So I'm showing you the markup for the standard list view template here. So to quickly refresh your memory that's this template here. And as you can see, the template is all just standard HTML5 and CSS3. All I have to do is import the main CSS file that's associated with the templates project, as well as a minimum amount of JavaScript that's also needed for some basic user interactivity. The rest of the markup, as you can see, is just standard plain vanilla HTML5 and CSS3. There is no absolutely no dependency on any external framework like jQuery Mobile or, or, um, or Twitter Bootstrap. All it is is a bunch of HTML tags with a certain style, uh, CSS style applied to it. Now the other great thing about these templates is they're completely modular and, and composable. So for example, if you're use, in your use case you don't want to display the, uh, uh, the opportunity amount or stage, you can just get rid of that, uh, that particular markup. And of course, these are all use case agnostic as I mentioned earlier. You can use this template to not only show opportunities but any other standard or custom object. It's all just HTML5 markup that you can drop into your page. Now as you can see here, this all the templates in the project use static or hard-coded data for illustrative purposes. The way a developer is uh, can use this template is to combine this markup with a JavaScript library like ForceDK or one of our mobile packs for AngularJS or Backbone or Knockout if you're familiar with those uh, very popular MB star frameworks. And those, uh, those mobile packs or JavaScript libraries will provide the live data binding with Salesforce which you can then combine with this mobile optimized markup to display really great looking um, or, or create really great looking web mobile apps. And remember that the styling is also completely customizable. All the CSS is open source, so if you want to change the look and feel of a particular template, all you have to do, for example, if I wanted to change the color of an H2 tag, all I have to do is go over to the CSS, find that particular tag or class, change it, and, and, uh, and meet the specific styling or UI UX needs of, uh, of your mobile app. A couple of other things, uh, the GitHub repo uh, that you can uh, that you can get to from the home page has all the uh, all the HTML and CSS that you need for the templates. The repo also has a nice gallery that you can use to quickly uh, view all the 22 templates that we provide and pick and choose whichever template uh, uh, meets your specific um, requirements and use case. So I hope that uh, quick overview has given you uh, uh, some, an idea of the different templates that, uh, that we provide and I hope to see these mobile design templates in action uh, very soon in your app. Thank you.